Tony Bennett told us when he watched that tape against San Francisco, it just didn't look like his team as St. Francis gets their first bucket three and a half minutes into this first half. Well, the Tensai on the drive leaves it for Sam Hauser. Beautiful up and under from the Marquette transfer. Yay, Clark checking into the game off the bench today. Not used to saying that to the junior point guard who led the ACC in minutes a year ago. And Trey Murphy comes off the bench and nails a triple. You can replace the production of that Mamadi Diakite, Diakite and also Braxton Key left and uh, certainly they're going to depend on him a lot this year. Morsell on the drive and he takes it right to the rim for two. Casey Morsell, very balanced scoring for the Cavaliers here against St. Francis. And very few open shots for St. Francis on the other end though. Not even eight minutes into this game, they've blown the doors open. A 17-point lead here at home. No doubt at all that they got the message. Uh, that's one of the few looks uh, that have been open in the opening minutes of this game. Virginia hasn't allowed any points in the paint. They allowed a lot of easy layups against San Francisco. Pull up transition three. It's good. Back to back threes. And this one from Bryce Lasky. Great pass from Clark in the finish, courtesy Trey Murphy the third. The Rice transfer has been on a great feed from Kihei Clark. Lays the hammer down and goes to the line for an and one. Ten minutes for St. Francis. They've allowed Virginia to get into the paint off of dribble drives. And the help has been late. Jay Hoff, nobody in front of him, an easy slam for the senior. Nobody crashing the offensive glass for St. Francis on multiple possessions. Inside and high off the window, Jay Hoff's eventful quarantine coming later in the broadcast. Great feed inside, Hauser and Sam Hauser and Jay Hoff continue to get it done. Another offensive rebound and tapped in by Jay Huff. Golden Tensai on the drive, lays it off, and there he is again, Jay Huff, flying to the rim. It's a simple keeping Virginia out of the paint, and then their help rotation has to be quicker. Uh, they're a step behind, and they're allowing too many open looks for Virginia. And I talked about the game where he played 27 minutes. No turnovers, and certainly I think that's going to be key for him, manning the point guard position. The great fan bases, and uh, right now it's, you know, it's empty, and it's going to be an adjustment, and obviously it's a huge disadvantage uh, for this Virginia team. Wolden Tensai again, and he's cooking up threes. Thomas Wolden Tensai. That's what's happened in this first half. Five seconds left in the half. Here's Beekman, takes it right to the rack. Reese Beekman in his first career Cavaliers start. Too easy, Jay, in that first half for Virginia. They got way too many open looks like that Specifically right Specifically in the paint, yeah, right on cue. Why have they led the nation the last four years and fewest points allowed? Just watch the help side defenders. It's not just on the ball as you take a look at St. Francis. Very rarely allow dribble penetration, but when they do, uh, their bigs and also wing players do a great job closing gaps. Hauser played for three years in Marquette, took a year off last year as he was redshirting, but he was able to practice every day. And pretty early, they had something special just watching him practice, and now able to put it into a game situation. Open in the corner, drills the three right on cue. Sam Hauser, and yeah, the shooting percentages get a lot of the attention, but he does a lot of the little things well, too. Rebounding, defense, his counter partner, Jay Hoff, having a great afternoon, too. 65% for Virginia, and a great defensive effort from Jay Hoff underneath. Beekman ahead to McCoy, count the basket and the foul. Everything coming up Virginia this afternoon. You said that bus saw that Virginia is. The senior Vermeer Dixon Conover 
rolled his ankle in the game after Pittsburgh against UMBC. Great feed inside. That's the best play offensively all afternoon from St. Francis. Their defensive unit, I think a lot has to do with their personnel as well, too. Why they are so good. Uh, they're so interchangeable. Uh, they're a team that can switch oftentimes on ball screen. And it's just that type of year right now in 2020. And I think it starts with the health of all these teams. In our coach's call with St. Francis head coach Rob Krimmel, he had a great line after losing that edge a few days ago against San Francisco. They have brought it in full force this afternoon. Well, Tony Bennett was very clear when we spoke to him yesterday. But Hauser with 11, Thomas Woldetensei with 8. Just very balanced scoring, like you said, Malcolm. Big three from Tyler Stewart. Since then, a 15-4 run. It won't change a win to a loss, but great experience for this young St. Francis core to go up against a, a defense like Virginia. Not recommend that workout for you, uh, but my goodness, uh, that is certainly creative, uh, getting the workout in during quarantine. and To stay in shape. I wonder if he recommended it to his teammates at all. I sure, I'm sure a lot of those guys passed on that one right there. That sums up 2020 right there. You just, you're going to see it all. <laughs> Certainly that is one of the great storylines. We'll run beyond this week, but kicking it off today. So please, if you can, go to v.org slash donate. Offensively, I felt, and they've all got into the act. It was a balanced scoring attack, and they were able to pick apart the St. Francis defense. Keith Day, obviously 13.6 rebounds last season uh, for Virginia. And then Braxton Key, uh, when you lose a player like him, he pretty much was so versatile, could guard multiple positions uh, on the court. School like Penn State, big. And instead, he, he's fallen in love, and uh, you know he plans to remain there for as long as he can. Kihei Clark does, but certainly a guy with an NBA champ, excuse me, a college basketball championship. He's such a veteran player, one of the better point guards, not just in the ACC, but in the country. Physically and mentally sound on defense and offense, and the three-time coach of the year got it today. Virginia hands in a terrific performance, a convincing victory.